rainy Friday, soggy Saturday, going to be a sunny Sunday that's coming our way. All this moisture that we've gotten, all that cloud cover, it's pushing and making its way out of our area. We just have to deal with it tonight and then the sunshine returns. Temperatures in the low 50s also returning for Sunday as well, but it's going to be a cold night. Right now we're already at 41 and temperatures are going to be decreasing right about to that freezing mark. Now, how much rain did we get? This is concluding from yesterday and so kind of some adding that drizzle, kind of that light mist that we got today as well. And well, most places really fall in and that area that we told you about between the 10th to a quarter inch. Springfield was just shy at that at 19. West Plains was just under a 10th, but not a whole lot of rain that we got and pushed through. And these are some towns that kind of saw kind of an outlier from that range. The heaviest amounts definitely occurred out west, closer to Interstate 49, Neosho and Stockton were closer to a third. Willer got exactly a quarter. And then out east, you guys definitely didn't get as much rain as everyone else out west. But everyone in the Ozarks saw something that came through their way last night. And the window to see rain, well, it's closing. Most of this moisture, it's moving and making its way out of the Ozarks right now. Southwest corner of Missouri, northwest corner of Arkansas has already shaken their cloud cover. They're going to have a little bit colder night as well because that cloud kind of acts as a blanket during nighttime, helps you keep you warm. Now for Sunday, we're pushing that clouds out. We're letting mild and sunny conditions slide into our region and we'll get those warm temperatures back as well. But a place where uh, they're going to get some wet weather and a whole lot of activity, it's actually on the Atlantic coast. There's going to be a powerful low pressure system that's going to march up the coast over the next couple days. This isn't a hurricane. It's not a tropical storm. It's going to have very similar impacts to these regions. They can see somewhere between two to three inches of rainfall, wind gusts at 40, 50, 60 miles per hour. But for us, we're going to have very quiet weather that's going to be coming our ways over the next couple days. Sunnier conditions going to be here for Sunday. And once we get into Sunday night, there's going to be a cold front that's going to push through our region. We're not expecting an, any precipitation, not really expecting an increase in cloud cover. The way it's going to affect us, it's going to flip the winds to a northern, northerly direction, and you're really going to feel the effects of this cold front on Monday. Cold temperatures are going to be returning, and we have a chance to get an overnight low that's going to be the coldest that we've seen since November 1st on Monday night. But for tomorrow, yeah, that warmth, it's coming back into our region. And most places in the Ozarks are going to be at that 50 degree mark. We're talking low to mid 50s. Northern Arkansas, even warmer, 55 Mountain Home, 56 in Harrison, Fayetteville, flirting with that 60 degree mark. And then that warm, or I should say that cold air returns on Monday. We're going to be struggling to reach the 40s. Some places, especially out east, may not even reach the 40s on Monday. Going to be very cold and this is the setup that we're going to have for Monday. Have all this cold Canadian air that's going to be parked over place, but then we're going to get a pattern shift and things are going to go very zonal with the jet stream and mild air is going to be flooding in. Does this look similar? It should because this is what we just experienced last week and then warm temperatures in the 50s are going to be returning. On Tuesday, we get 50 degrees back. On Wednesday, we have chances to get 60 if cloud cover allows enough sunshine to pump in. And then we're going to be staying with temperatures in the upper 50s for really the next week. This right here is Christmas Eve. This is Christmas Day. Christmas is looking warm and wet because rain chances are going to be returning really Thursday night into Friday. That's the time that we can start to see rain returning into the Ozarks. We just have to get through the cold night tonight. Monday is going to be cold as well. And then that warm period. I know a lot of people are enjoying these warm 50s, 60s in December. We're going to get another week of it. It's got some rain chances that may try to rear its head back around Christmas. So when is the first official day of winter? The first official day? That's mm -hmm. uh, Thursday. 20. Thursday. Okay. So, so we got some warmer temperatures Thursday. What, 58 degrees yeah. it sounds like? Okay. Days well, will start getting longer once that hey, comes in as well. I know a lot of people like are excited hear. about that. Yes, I'm sure a lot of people though are disappointed that we probably won't see a white Christmas. I'm not too disappointed <laughs> because I'm flying home to Chicago, so I don't yeah. want a white Christmas <laughs> until I get home. Um, but yeah, so warm and wet for Christmas and then really just kind of warm for the rest of this week too. So. Spot on. All right, thanks Matt. Well, is